What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at some of the best universal attachments to use in Modern Warfare 2. And when it comes to all of these, I highly recommend unlocking them if you haven't already. So I'm also going to be sharing exactly how you unlock each of them. But the first thing to point out here is these are just covering the universal attachments. The ones that can be used on a wide variety of weapons or just about every gun in the game. And as a result, we're only focusing on the lasers, underbarrels, optics, as well as the muzzles in this game. Because for all of the other attachment categories, they're not necessarily universal. Like when it comes to barrels, for instance, those are unique to a gun or at least to a platform of guns. So those are better covered on a gun by gun basis with my gun guide series. I should also point out with these attachments, I'm not necessarily saying these are the best attachments in all scenarios for all types of builds. It's more so I feel like you should have all of these attachments unlocked and ready to go because they can be very helpful in specific areas. And if you don't have that attachment unlocked, it may limit you with certain setups. And with that in mind, let's dive right into it. And we're gonna start it off with the underbarrel grips. And the first grip you definitely want to have on hand, and I'm sure almost all of you already have this unlocked, this is the FSS Sharkfin 90. And the reason I really like this one is it helps with our aiming idle stability, but it has no downsides attached to it. And as a result, it's just a great freebie attachment. If you don't want to hurt your gun in any way, you don't want to hurt your aim down sight speed, but you have that extra attachment slot, it only helps to pop this on. It doesn't hurt you in any way. And as you can see, you unlock it by getting the M4 up to level 6, which again, I'm sure most of you have already done that. And so the next underbarrel grip you want to have ready to go, this is the Phase 3 grip. And this one unlocks with the Vaznev at level 9. And this is excellent for guns that have a lot of side-to-side -side bounce with their recoil, because we're gaining recoil stabilization here. And based on my testing, it does seem to give us the best impact to our recoil stabilization out of any of the underbarrel grips in the game. And therefore, this is also an excellent option that you want to have ready to go for those specific guns with that side-to-side -side bounce. Now for the next grip, this is the VX Pineapple Grip. This is much more for just general recoil control. It helps with the recoil steadiness, which seems to help with both vertical as well as horizontal recoil in this game. And therefore, when you're looking at guns that don't have a lot of side-to-side -side bounce, but they do have some recoil that you want to be toning down, the VX Pineapple is an excellent option for that. And this one is unlocked by getting the 5.56 Icarus up to level 14. And honestly, those are the main underbarrel grips you just want to have unlocked and ready to go. Of course, with certain builds, it may be more optimal to use a different underbarrel grip, but these ones are great all-arounders that will cover the specific needs of most of the guns in the game. After that, let's stay on the topic of recoil here, and we'll move into the muzzle attachments. And with this, there are two different types of muzzle attachments that I highly recommend unlocking here. And the first type is just focusing purely on vertical recoil control. And you might think that's a bit strange. Normally you want to focus on horizontal recoil because vertical recoil is generally easier to control than horizontal. However, in Modern Warfare 2 specifically, so many of the guns in this game have a lot of initial vertical recoil. There's a lot of acceleration after you fire your first shot. And that can be a little harder to counteract, especially with a controller. I feel like mouse and keyboard can handle that aspect a little bit better. But with a controller especially, I find that on many of the guns, you really want to have this vertical recoil control improvement. And with this, there's actually four different muzzles that we want to be focusing on depending on the gun. So this isn't shared completely universally, and that's why you want to unlock all four of these so you've got all your bases covered. The first one is the X10 Ported 290. This is going to cover a lot of the guns in the game. You definitely want this one unlocked. And this is unlocked by getting the HCR 56 up to level 16. As for the next one, which is essentially the exact same attachment with just a different name and it applies to different weapons, like the cast-off weapon platform, for instance. This is the Tempest GH50, and this one is unlocked by getting the TAC V up to level 14. After that, for the SMGs in this game, they don't have either of those previous ones. Instead, we have the XRK Sandstorm, but again, this is the same attachment with just a different name. And this one is unlocked by getting the Fennec 45 up to level 10. And then finally, it seems like there's only a very small handful of guns that use this particular one. This is the XRK Kraken, and you'll see this on the RAL MG, for instance. This one, I'd say you don't have to prioritize nearly as much as the others, though, simply because it's more rare than the others. But with this, you have to get the SPX-80 up to level 11. So that's the vertical recoil control muzzles that you really want. However, there's another type of muzzle attachment that I would highly recommend unlocking as well, just for versatility with your class setups. And this is going to be the one that helps with vertical and horizontal recoil control, but 
vertical is prioritized over horizontal. It's gonna be higher up in the pros list, so it's gonna be helping with both, but it helps a little bit more with vertical rather than horizontal. And this is for the same reason that I already stated. So many of the guns in this game benefit more from vertical recoil control than horizontal recoil control. And with this, the one that covers the vast majority of the guns in the game is the Saken or Saken Tread 40. And with this, it's kind of strange. It appears there's actually two different versions of this, but they have the exact same name, exact same stats. They look the same. They just apply to different guns. So for some guns, you have to unlock this by getting the STB 556 up to level four. And then for other guns to unlock this same attachment, you have to get the Rap H up to level 14. So you may have to grind out both of those, but I would definitely recommend it. You definitely want to have this on hand. However, we don't have that attachment for the SMGs in the game. And instead, we have the Bruin Pendulum, which is unlocked with the PDSW at level 29. So it's a little bit of a grind for that one if you haven't done this already. But again, I'd highly recommend unlocking this attachment and having it on hand because it's excellent for just general recoil control across the board. And with that, let's now move on to the laser category. And for those that are interested, I did do a full laser breakdown already. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will leave that link down below. But I've got four primary laser attachments that you should definitely have on hand for creating class setups. The first one is the SZ one milliwatt PEC laser. And this is the one that helps with aiming stability, but has no downsides to it. Kind of like that shark fin stock from earlier. And this is unlocked with the SPR-208 at level two. And again, it's just one of those great attachments to have on hand because there's no downsides to it. So if you've got that spare attachment and you don't wanna hurt your gun in any way, feel free to pop this on, it's only helping you. It's actually a really similar story with the next one as well. This is the Schlager Peck Box 4. And this is the one that helps with aim down sight speed with no cons attached to it as well. So exactly the same idea behind this, but it helps with ADS speed instead of that idle sway. And this one is unlocked with the Signal 50 at level three. But after that, let's get into my favorite laser attachment to use in this game. I actually use this on so many of my builds. This is the FSS OLEV laser. And this is an absolute must have attachment. This is unlocked by getting the EBR 14 up to level 10. And with this, it helps quite a bit with our aim down sight speed. It also helps a very noticeable amount with our aiming stability, and it helps a very small amount with our sprint to fire time. But I mean, it is a nice improvement anyway. And the only downside to this is the laser is visible, but only when aiming down sight. However, this one also has a red laser, which is a little harder to spot than the green and the blue lasers in this game. And with all of that combined, that makes this, in my opinion at least, the best laser in the game. But finally for the lasers, I have to just include the Canted Vibro.7 laser. And this is the one that doesn't let you fully aim down sight, so you're not actually gonna be looking down your iron sight, you just sorta tilt the gun sideways, kinda like the night vision mode back in Modern Warfare 2019. But with this, our aiming stability is improved, our aim down sight speed is very noticeably improved, and our sprint to fire speed is also improved. And for a lot of builds, many people are gonna love this. Now, it's not for everyone though. For many people, they just, they wanna see their sights. They wanna see their iron sights. And on most builds, I do as well. However, it is always nice to have this on hand, ready to go, just cause it's such a unique attachment that can really amplify specific weapons in specific situations. To get this one, you have to get the TAC-56 up to level 10. And with that, this just leaves us with one last attachment to unlock. And this is actually an optic that I'd highly recommend that everyone go and unlock. This is the Cronin Mini Pro, and this one is unlocked by getting the Expedite 12 shotgun up to level seven. And this is what it looks like. The reason I really like this is first up, it's not very obstructive. It's got a nice thin rim around the edge of the optic, and that's really nice to see. And on top of that, we have a blue dot. And I just really like blue dots on my optics in Call of Duty. There's just something about that contrast with the targets as well as the environment, where blue dots just seem to stand out a little bit better than red dots or even green dots, for instance. So while this one does come down to preference to some degree, I would say at least in the game's current state, this is the best low zoom optic that we can currently unlock. Now for me, I do kind of prefer the Slimline Pro optic, but unfortunately we only have access to that in custom games at the moment. Although with the launch of season one, I believe this is gonna be tied to the Chimera or M13B unlocks. And therefore at that stage, I'd also probably wanna unlock the Slimline Pro, but unfortunately I can't tell you how to unlock it at this stage. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for what I've found to be the best universal attachments that you definitely wanna have unlocked and ready to go for your class setups. And for those that do wanna grind through and get all of these attachments, just to make it a bit easier, I'm gonna include a link to a spreadsheet down below. It's just a checklist for these exact attachments that I outlined in today's video. And now this is where I wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. Just looking at universal attachments that can be used on a wide variety of weapons, 
What are some of your favorites so far in Modern Warfare 2? Are there any that weren't on this list that you would add? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.